Hey, howdy, folks. This is Wolf in 4966. I'm John. I'm your host, of course. The host with the most. And um, we're, uh, we're sitting outside. Um, just got done with the, a hired contractor. He's going to come in here and take all, all this junk out, if, if you see it. Um, part of getting ready to go. Um, my car's there, but my neighbor's car is not there, so he's gone. Uh, he's pretty happy about it all, you know. I'm, I'm gonna have to spring for this. I'm gonna have to spring for this out of my own pocket, but it's about 160 USD. Um, I guess I don't mind. I'll just be happy to get rid of it all. Got the cat. The female cat, the mama, we got her uh, spaded, neutered, all her shots, and uh, I brought her home yesterday about this time, and I haven't seen her since. I stepped out to have a cigarette because I can't smoke inside, and she hauled ass. Uh, I imagine... You know, my landlord, my landlord pretty much made it clear to me that she she'll take care of herself just like her like his cat did when he neutered her or spaded her. And um, so I guess I just wait for her to come back. Uh, she's pretty pissed off at me. Oh yeah, I I I got her clipped and all the all. All the shots. So I just hope for the best, you know. I was supposed to give her some medicine today, but she ain't around to get it. Um, I do worry about her. I really do. This cat, if anything works out, I'm probably gonna take her to the Philippines with me. Probably along with this other brat cat. But they're not going to be able to breed. Um, even though, you know, the Philippines could use a larger cat, a larger semi-feral cat. But you got to also understand, you know, you got to look at the cobras, the, the cobras they got, and they got um, all kinds of wildlife that, you know, the Philippine eagle great meal for a Philippine Eagle um, you just gotta look at that you know I'm looking at the hawks and the owls and the coyotes in this area we're not supposed to have coyotes but it just is you know I'm sorry this, this is another another talking head but well talking head video but I'll let you look at little boy. There's a little boy right there. He kind of, what he does, he goes around me until he finds out that it's safe. And then he comes up and loves up on me. And I'm like, oh. I feed him. He gets fed well. Watered well. Oh, there's Steve. Oh, I don't see your car there, so I think you're gone, man. I moved my truck. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's throwing me off. That's yeah, why. Me too, a bit. Um, that's Steve, my neighbor. I'm just, I'm doing a video by now. By the way, I'm doing a video. Look at him, look at you put out seed, man. You better not, you're going to get, you know, you're going to get your butt kicked. Get all excited. You know, Steve's going to get you. Anyways, uh, I just thought I'd let you all know what's going on, man. We've got cleaning coming Thursday, and uh, just getting ready, man. That's the guy right there who's supposed to feed the cats while I'm gone. And uh, I don't know if you saw him, but um, we'll come to an agreement on that one. Um, just... Uh, 
You know, stay cool, stay, stay real, stay yourself. Above all, stay faithful, man. Roger, I'm out. This is Wolfen. I'm bidding you adieu.